Hi everyone, this is Mariela from Sugar and Spice and today I've got another new loaf and this one is called uh, Roses for You and it's a Mother's Day soap that I made so I've got some red rosebuds organic rosebuds on top and it smells lovely Okay, let's cut the end off Yeah, and see the rose is going to drag ah. and look at this, wow, orange. Do you know what? This was orange, no, actually the outside of the here was the same color as that and then when it was left and open in the air for a bit it turns uh, red and pink and whatever colors they put there uh, I don't think I'm gonna like this very much it's the roses are dragging I'm making this horrible horrible thing uh, that Yeah, I mean, it's already darkening, look. It's like magic. The colors are already, the orangey. That is so weird. So weird. Like magic, it's turning to red and pink and slowly. hope I don't have to do this all the way through. So maybe I should do it sideways. So it doesn't drag. Right on the soap itself. Yikes, this looks awful. Well, let's put it on the side and see how that turns out. Uh, let me see. Yeah, colors are turning. Because out here, it was also orangey when I got it out of the box, but then after it's, uh, when it's uh, out in the, the air it gets onto it, it starts turning the right color because so when I seen on the box I thought oh my god what is this it's gone orange I've used this color before it's not like I haven't used it okay I think this might do the trick I don't want it scraping <laughs> Look at the colors. I guess we have to wait a little bit, but that was that was the same. But look at it now. It's right in your eyes. It's turning uh, the right color. Look, it's darkening. And we have a look at this one after we finish cutting the rest. <laughs> Amazing. Never had, never done that before. When I've used this red, it's not a new. I mean, it's not new to me, but it's new that it's doing this. So weird. But at least we solved the problem of that mark on, on the soap. Maybe I have to push it a little bit further back. The rosebud is falling off. That's gonna go straight in that bud right there. I guess I can put them back on after.
it's orange. And look at it now. See the difference? Like it's darkening now. So weird. That was like that when I first cut it, and now it's darkening. Learn something every day. First one I cut full size one. It's getting darker now. Put the buds back on. Where did this one fall from? Finding the sea. I think it might be the end of that one actually. I mean, you must probably really take them off anyway before you use them. You can't really leave them there. How I love the messy. The mess of the roses when you cut them. another one. Alright, put this one back where it belongs. If I can find the spot. I can't know. We'll just put it anywhere. Wherever. Okay, so that's the first slide. And that's how it was at the top. And now look, the colors are coming through. The change, colors are changing as I cut them. So you can tell this one is the first slice because <coughs> it goes with that one. Oh gosh, it smells lovely. If you like roses, I do. I love roses. I just like love all kinds of scents. And John. There's another one. Fell off. Plunk it on there. Just plunk it on anywhere, really. Oh gosh, I'm so glad it's changing colour. I didn't say the horrible, kind of dirty orange. It's not even a proper. another one and first slice that was like this and you can see the color has changed and here's another one colors are coming in now just like magic this one's still orange Not like that pink berry one, pink pink berry sorbet that I made my pink sugar, pink sugar baby. I call it sugar baby, but it's pink sugar actually. And that one is like cream in the inside and just on the outside, kind of on the crust, it's pink. 
that hasn't changed a lot. It's still like creamy inside and pink outside. I don't know what happened there. But I don't think I'm going to use that one as a pink cover anymore, unless I want that same effect. Oh gosh, imagine you stay that color. That would be totally messed up. Mm. Voila, look. And see how it's deepening. From this is how it looked here when I cut it, and now it's out in the air. The colors are coming out. I want to make some co cotton candy. I made some cotton candy um, on glycerin. I made a cake, cotton candy cake. And I wanted to, and I keep on, every time I make some ma butter mix, I think, yeah, I'm going to make cotton candy. And then when I got all of my butter's oils measured out, the line, all that stuff, I changed my mind. I, I started making something else. I mean, that cotton candy smells, oh my god, it smells really yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. But I don't know, every time I, 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 you know, I go to make it, I change my mind. I make something else. And I have to make this one for Mother's Day. The roses. I've been wanting to make a roses one for a while. Just not, not essential oil, just fragrance oil. I have made one hot process. French milk, so I'll say. Um, roses one. It has a subtle smell, but you can still smell it. My rose, but they're all falling off. But anyway, at least I'm not getting that horrible gash on the side of the soap now. And this one is the last one. So, <coughs> now back to the first one I cut, there we go, this is how it came out when you first cut it, this is how it goes after it's been out for a little while, there's another one already darkened, which is the next second one to that one, because of the, the design on it, I can tell. So the colors are darkening compared to that. Just a couple of minutes or so and yeah, that one. A couple of minutes and they're done. And this one here I will do for samples. There's a quite a little thick end. So I'll cut these out for samples. Oh, I wonder how much these uh, nine. I know that one was a little bit smaller. Six two. Six. 
is that when they dry up, cure, they weigh five ounces or more. So I'm pretty sure that it will. Only five ounces or more. I guess I'm going to have to wash that. This is just a little bit of center. I don't know how to get it centered. Okay, so here we go. Put the things across. So yeah, they turned uh, pinkish now. So for this one is the last. Let's get in there. That side has. And that's my roses for you. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.